Hey, CantCharge.com here with uh, Cavaliers Director of Development League Operations, Mike Ganzi. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing well, man. Hey, just uh, 2015 open tryouts in the books. You had 89 guys come out today to showcase their skills and make a case to try to come to Charge Training Camp. Just uh, overall, talk about the impressions in the crop today. It was great. I mean, obviously a record-setting 89 people. You know, last year I think we had 57, and that was the highest we've ever had. So, you know, obviously a lot of talent in here and, you know, a good chance for our coaches to get together for the first time this year and, you know, get on the floor and work out some guys. And, you know, we had a lot of good prospects, and, you know, I think a couple of these guys might make it to camp with us. Now talk about a little bit more about that, what you just said about the good crop of guys. You know, Cavs obviously do a ton of scouting all through the year, all throughout the ranks of college basketball and pro. But bottom line is you can't really see everybody. So just a little bit more about what the open tryouts are about and what kind of talent it brings. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously some guys, you know, we've seen, whether it's the Cavs and all our scouting department, but, you know, there's a lot of diamond in the roughs, guys that we maybe not heard of, some smaller schools, you know, have played overseas and, you know, we have kind of haven't followed them for a couple of years. But, uh, you know, it was good to see a lot of them out of here. And, you know, obviously some guys that we didn't have a lot of familiarity with obviously jumped out on the page for us today. Now, you know, I just ended like five minutes ago, so you don't know for sure of any individual names, but two guys last year's open trial made the opening day roster. Is there any kind of potential you saw today of somebody we could, that Charge fans could end up seeing on November 4th? Yeah, you know, I think definitely. You know, obviously I'll sit down with all our coaches and, you know, some of our Cavs front office staff that was here scouting and, you know, kind of put a plan together and pick uh, some guys that we think uh, – that we can probably invite to camp and kind of go from there. But I can see a guy or two maybe, you know, pushing to possibly make our team opening night. Now, something that's kind of rare for us in Canton is having a coaching staff that's pretty much intact from one year to the next. Um, you know, we've got three of our four main coaches that are here today that are running this tryout. Just talk about for you as, as kind of the boss of the team, how it is seeing yeah. Coach Fernandez and, and Batiste and yeah. Rankin come run the show and get back together. Yeah, you know, it, it's great. You know, the last three years we've always had to hire a new coach and we've had new assistants. So it, it's good to have a, you know, cohesive, familiar uh, staff together for, for one time. and. Uh, you know, obviously they did great today. You know, it's the first day they've really been together for this upcoming season. And, you know, obviously they haven't missed a beat, you know, from last year. And we're really excited to start the year. Now, just the final question I got for you, just, you know, from here to the Halloween draft day, there's a lot that goes on. Maybe mm -hmm. just give a quick little overview on what, what's next for the charge leading into the draft day. Yeah, well, you know, right now, obviously Cavs training camp's about to begin. And, you know, our whole, co our whole Canton's coaching staff will be there helping out with the Cavs coaches and practices. and. You know, obviously we got to figure out who, what returning players are going to come back, you know, who's going to be in the draft, and you know, obviously Halloween night is the draft. So, you know, once we start getting names in the draft, we'll start digging, digging into that, you know, looking at names, trying to get background on guys, and watching film and all that, and you know, try to try to put together the best team we can, you know, heading into the season. All right, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Sean.